Some new information for you tonight on the steps. Next steps on when it comes to Thursday's ruling yesterday that was handed down by the state Supreme Court that said that South Carolina's six week abortion ban was in fact unconstitutional. So the question now is, will there be appeals? Do legislators have to start over? Lots of questions. We sent News 19's Zoe Henry out in search of answers. On Thursday, the South Carolina Supreme Court decided the long discussed and debated six week ban on abortion was unconstitutional. That's all under the privacy statute in the South Carolina state constitution. This is the first time that a state court has declared that a state constitution's right to privacy covers a woman's right to choose an abortion. Kirk Dazzo is the head of the political science department at USC. He says this dictates the language in a new bill if lawmakers decide to revisit the issue. Uh, what this means for the legislature is that they have to go back to the drawing board and come up with another statute if they wish to reduce the, the ban from the current 22 weeks. That 22 weeks that he mentions includes a gray area or gray period when fertilization begins. Scott Barries, a professor of law at USC, adds there isn't a possibility for appeals. In a statement, he said this is a state law issue under the state constitution and the United States Supreme Court does not have jurisdiction over it. So the SC Supreme Court is the final word. Rendazzo says because of the nature of the Supreme Court decision, a federal appeal is unlikely. That essentially made this a state uh, state law action. I doubt the U.S. Supreme Court would grant certiorari and hear that appeal. For lawmakers, it's back to the drawing board for new legislation if it is decided to take up abortion this legislative session. At the South Carolina Supreme Court, I'm Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. All right, that legislative session begins next Tuesday. That is January 10th.